Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 20. And in this tutorial, I am going to talk to you guys about the third and final loop that I'm actually going to show you guys for a while. And this is called the do while loop. Now, of course, the do while loop is similar to the for loop and the while loop because you can use it to repeat one line of code or a few lines of code until a condition eventually becomes false. But there is one difference because a do while loop only checks for the condition after the loop has been executed. So this means that a do while loop will always run at least once, even if the condition is false. Okay. Whereas the previous loops, if you had a false condition, the loop would never run at all because those for loop, the for loop and the while loop checked for the condition at the beginning. Okay, so let's take a look at the syntax for a do while loop. You're going to start off with the word do, and then we're going to put in our curly braces. And this is basically where the code we want to repeat goes. So code to repeat goes here. And after that, we type in the word while. And this is where we'll put in our condition. Okay, so as you can see, we actually only check for the condition at the end. So the computer sees this word do, does all this stuff, checks the condition. And if this condition is false, then it doesn't do anything inside this loop again. Uh, but if this condition is true, then it'll go on and keep going until this condition eventually does become false. Okay. Now, another thing that you can see here is that much like the while loop, this do while loop does not have a built in counter. So if we want to run this loop 10 times, we have to make our own counter. So let's go ahead and make our variable i outside the loop over here. And we'll set i to uh, 0, OK? And then after that, uh, inside our loop over here, we're going to have to increment i. So i plus plus. Now, remember, if you don't increment i inside of the loop, you're going to make a loop that runs forever and you're going to make the user's browser crash. So not a good idea to leave this line of code out. Okay. And let's just echo something out inside our loop. So we'll just echo, um, I repeated I times. So, type in the word times and a break tag as well, just to make sure that every time this loop prints out, it'll be on a new line. So now we just have to take care of our condition, which you guys are probably used to by now. And that is just going to be while well, I is less than 10. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and save this and run this in Firefox. And as you can see, we've got, uh, I have repeated zero times, one times, two times, whatever. Okay, so the loop actually ran from zero to nine, uh, which is 10 times. And like I said before, uh, this loop will r run at least once, even if this condition here is false. So let's start I off at 11. Okay, this means we know that 11 is not less than 10. Okay. But watch what happens. We still get one line of code printed out or one echo printed out. I have repeated 11 times. Okay. And this is like I said, because we actually execute our loop at least once before checking for the condition. And that's actually all I have for you guys on loops for now. But just remember that a for loop has a built in counter. So if you guys want to create a loop that runs only 10 times and you don't want to make a loop that like lands up running forever, 
a for loop is probably the best and safest option, but that doesn't mean that you should never use a while loop or you should never use a do while loop because like I said, they are all slightly different and they all have very good specific uses, okay? Uh, so we'll learn about those uh, a lot later on, but for now, you know how loops work. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.